Hey guys, Sammy here. I'm filming on my mom's iPad for like the first time in probably a year or something like that because I just tried to record this video and my phone kept cutting me off because of the limited amount of space that I have. I'm sorry. I hope my mom has a lot of space on her iPad so that I can record on here. But pretty much, um, I explained to you guys in that video from what I could film on it was that there would be no October Loot Crate unboxing because my mom took it upon herself to start opening my October Loot Crate video one random day. Uh, I think it was a couple days before I wanted to film it. It was around the end of October when I got it, you know, obviously. So I think I was putting away clothes. She was chilling in my room watching some TV. She saw the box and she decided to start opening it. And I'm just like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, you filmed that monthly video for your channel. I'm like, yes, I do. Thanks, mom. So, <laughs> um, she's on her way home now from work. So I'm trying to film this quickly. But pretty much, I have a Family Dollar and a Ross Collective haul for you guys. Um, so from Family Dollar, I got these four, like, storage bin thingies. Two in this royal blue pattern and two in this black pattern um, for a storage tower that I purchased also from Family Dollar. This like four tier tower thingy. Um, I got those two black bins when I purchased the tower itself, but I don't like how the black looks like by itself, one solid color. I think it looks too intense or heavy. I don't know what my reasoning is for it. I just think it looks so like strong and just I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't really like it too much and I think the patterns are a little lighter and not so, <laughs> I don't know, I can't describe that, I really can't, but I need to hurry up and film this video so that I can eat, take a shower, get ready, because I'm going to hang out with some people tonight and it's going to be fun and I can't stay out too late because I have gym in the morning, 5 a.m. with Eileen, it's going to be awesome, yay. So, um... Yeah, I bought those four storage bins for that tower, and I'm going to use all four, like, slots for clothes and tank tops and stuff. So, yeah. I got those bins, and I got this mahogany sandalwood candle from Family Dollar. And it smells like... It smells ridiculously amazing, number one. Number two, it smells like mahogany sandalwood. And number three, it smells like men's cologne, you guys. It really does, and I love it, and I adore it. I love the smell of men's cologne. I mean, what girl doesn't, unless they're not into it, clearly. But I do. I love it. <laughs> All right, so I got that from Family Dollar, and, you know, one of my bottles of Mountain Dew, as always. And then we're going to move over to Ross. I keep looking this way because that's where I think the camera is, but it's here. It's there. That's where it is. I'm not used to filming on the iPad anymore. All right. So the first thing I got from Ross is this toilet paper holder because the one that my mom got me is pretty much sucky. Uh, like, it's a good toilet paper holder. It does what it's supposed to do. But they, we have this exact one except in like a more brassy, dark brownish color for the guest bathroom. And I like the way it, it turns up like this so that you could just slide down the new roll and then turn it back this way and then the the current roll just like stays here and then I like it and stuff and that's what it looks like with toilet paper on it. <laughs> it was only eight dollars. When I saw it I was like, oh, you're mine! I mean even though they didn't have it in like the the nickel brassy whatever the hell it's called that like reflective type coating they didn't have that they only had this black one or at least like a brassy one they didn't have that one either but I don't care. I bought it and I love it and that's pretty much it. I'm an adult. I bought a toilet paper holder and I fell in love with it too. Yeah! <laughs> I really am 25. Clearly. <laughs> anyway, um, I got that and then I got clothes and I got a pair of heels and I got another candle <laughs> and I got another candle. Um, alright, so first off, we'll start with the most expensive thing, which are these heels, but I honestly, I fell in love with them, and no, I'm not going to try them on, because I know some people here have, like, foot fetishes, and 
it, it's fine if you have a foot fetish, but I'm not, I'm not, just, no, I'm not going to do that. So look at these shoes, you guys. Can you see them in the light? They have like these, these, uh, these, these little like stud thingies in them. And they were only 33 bucks. They're from the brand French Connection. And they're in a seven and a half, but I'm an eight. But they still feel fine. Like they feel great, you know? Yeah, seven and a half US size, 38 European size. Okay, cool. Um, like they don't feel too tight. They feel just fine. And Sammy likey. Sammy likey. But you can tell like they've been worn quite a bit, which kind of don't make me too happy. But whatever. It's fine. It's all good. This one, you can tell, has been worn way more than this one. The right one. More than the left. I know, my right from my left. <laughs> so I got these shoes. $33. That's the most expensive purchase from my Ross Adventure. $33. And then I got these cookies. Yeah, I got cookies. From, like, the, the, the line while you're waiting to check out. You know how they have, like, snacks and just random crap put there? I got these European shortbread traditional butter cookies. They're so good. I love them. They're from the brand. I'm going to butcher this name. Borgrieve? I how that B O R oh yeah. B O R G G R E V E. I'm not even going to bother to say it again. I'm just going to sound like an idiot. So yeah. Yeah, I got those cookies. And I can't wait to Stick them in my orifice. My mouth hole. <laughs> that sounded really dirty, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, moving on. I got three pairs of the same kind of sweatpants, just in different colors and the same size, because I love these traditional type of sweatpants with like the, the scrunchy material up here, and then like, they, they, it, it, it's the, the rubber thingy down here with the elastic and I feel like this is how sweatpants are supposed to look. They're supposed to look like this. And if sweatpants don't have pockets, why? Why don't sweatpants have pockets? Sweatpants are supposed to have pockets. Holy hell, I hate it when I fall in love with a pair of sweatpants in a random store and they're my size and they're perfect and then they have no pockets and then they have no pockets. I just want to rip them apart and just be like, to the manufacturer, why do they not have pockets like these? And they're spacious and they're so pretty. But anyway, I got these in a burgundy color and I got them in a gray color, of course, you know, same thing. Nice pockets in a medium. I felt like the large was too big and the small was gonna be too tight. And then I got them in the navy blue color, but the navy blue color has a different like stitching elasticy thingy up here notice how these two have like the elastic thingy like this see they have it like that and this one has it in a different way i'm trying to like you know see how it's different but i don't care i got them anyway they're all from the same brand what's it called roma concept and they're all a medium and they feel amazing and these even have pockets too. Not the same kind of pockets, but they're just so pretty. Sammy likey. So I got those and they were all $6.99. Okay, well, no. The blue ones were $6.99. The gray ones were $7.99. And the red ones were also $7.99. But I mean, hello, worth it. Sweatpants with pockets are amazing. And why do they make jeans? Jeans, normal jeans, bell bottom jeans, skinny jeans, Slim fit jeans, boot cut jeans. There are some jeans in all those categories that have no pockets, no front pockets, and they only have back pockets. Why? Can you tell that this bothers me? Can you tell that this bothers me? <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to calm down. I am getting worked up over pants that don't have pockets. Like, what is my life? I don't know. Moving on. I also got a pair of shorts. Shorts. Why did I say it like that? Some shorts. I got some shorts that have uh, these roll-up cuffs at the bottom. And they are a size 11. I honestly don't know if they will truly fit me. I think they're going to be a little big. I think I've gone down in weight a little bit. They look huge on camera. They look... They, they, holy crap, they really look huge on camera. 
they're a size 11 and like I, I did the thingy where you're supposed to like take the, the hip thingies and like measure it yourself and it reaches both sides fine so I think they'll fit but they might be slightly baggy but since I'm going to the gym more with Ailey I'm building more muscle so maybe my muscle will fill them out I don't know uh, I got these for uh, $8.99 reduced price from $12.99 to $8.99 amazeballs so I got shorts and then I got some shirts and like a really thin hoodie. Like this hoodie is ridiculously thin, but I saw it and I used to hate the color navy blue, but now I guess because I'm older, I used to really hate it like in high school. I hated navy blue because it was our uniform shirt and we used to have to wear the navy blue pants or the khaki pants and it's just, oh, I really hated it. Maybe that's why. And now I'm just like, cause I'm not in high school anymore. I don't really care. So this really thin navy blue hoodie, which is from the brand Moonchild, which I've heard of before, cost me eight bucks and it says here, live by the sun, love by the moon. You see, isn't it pretty? You guys, I fell in love with it. And look, you see the sun and the moon? Isn't this so cute? I love it. I think it's so pretty. I just, I fell in love with it and I really shouldn't be buying any more clothes. Because I have more than enough clothes. But I have given away a lot of stuff that I just wasn't using. And some stuff was new. And I just, I was like, someone else can enjoy this because I've never worn it. Or I haven't worn it in ages. And yeah. I'm probably going to have to go through my closet again and give away like 10 pieces of clothing. Because I bought like 4, 5, 10 more items of clothing. Whatever. Anyway, I also got this uh, flannel shirt plaid shirt, flannel shirt. I feel like it's really similar. But I got this and it's a large and it also cost me eight bucks. It's by the brand Love Tree Happens, made in China. And it's pretty, right? Isn't it pretty? I love my flannel and my plaid and I have like a little section in my closet of just that type of style. I probably have like eight pieces. Now nine. <laughs> I think they're so pretty, right? Isn't this nice? I think I might wear this tonight. Like, why not? It's brand new. It's not wrinkled. It's just, it's perfect. I think I'm gonna wear this tonight, like, for real. Yeah, I might set that aside, like, right now. <laughs> I just put it right there, aside from everything else. Okay. Then, I got this short. I got this short shirt. Um with a cut off sleeves here in the shoulders. This is what it looks like. I'll show you guys right now. There we go, see? I love, I love, which you will see, I bought another one similar to this, but not the same. I love shirts that have the, the cut off shoulder that like show like this much of the shoulder. I don't know why, I used to hate it. Okay, I didn't hate it. I'm being really dramatic. I didn't hate it, but I didn't really like it. I was just like, mm, it's not really my style. But now I'm just like, give me all the shirts that look like that. I love it, you guys. Isn't it pretty? It's like a burgundy color with the two white stripes on each sleeve. And this was, I tell you now, from $8.99, it went down to $4.49. I got it reduced on clearance. Always go through the clearance section first and then go through the normal price stuff. Trust me. Trust me. Worth it. I was there longer than I needed to be, but I went through the entire clearance section first, and then I went through the normal section in the junior side because I don't know why juniors have nicer clothes, cooler clothes, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea, but it's from the brand Occasion. Never heard of these brands, except Moonchild. I've heard of Moonchild. From Earthbound, that store, Earthbound Trading. I think they have some pieces by Moonchild, maybe. I know I've seen it there. I know I've seen it there. I'm not that crazy. I'm a little crazy, but I'm not that crazy. But anyway, I got this shirt. It's in a large. And the hoodie was in a large too, by the way. And the plaid shirt. Basically everything was a large because, yeah. I don't know. All right, and then I got another style of that same shirt that I told you guys, that I just showed you. You see, but it's long sleeve. It's long sleeve and it has the cutout sleeves again. And it was $5 from the brand Glitz and you know also a large it's pretty much it self-explanatory 
And this is like my favorite thing that I bought. Aside from the sweatpants and the hoodie, I mean, I loved everything I bought, but this is like probably the top thing that I bought. I love this hoodie and it's absolutely amazing. It's a white and black hoodie with like the, the baseball looking, it's not, it's not the baseball sleeves. It's like the baseball shirt tile style. Shirt tile? I meant to say style, but tile came out. Shirt tile. Okay. Moving on. It's this hoodie and it says, and it has like the days of the week with the emojis. You see Monday's like sad face, Tuesday's whatever, Wednesday is I'm getting happy, Thursday is it's almost here, Friday is it's Friday, Saturday is Saturday time party, Sunday is oh god it's the end of the week. And then we gotta start all over. Isn't it cute you guys? Look at this. I fell in love with it. I love it so much. I got it for eight dollars from the brand On Fire. From the brand On Fire. There it is. On Fire. Never heard of this brand. I've never heard of any of these brands except for Moonchild, I swear. Even the shoe brand. French Connection. Never heard of them either. Yeah, it's a long sleeve hoodie. Pretty self-explanatory. Nice. A little thin. Not too thin, I guess. But I love it. And I hope to wear it soon because it's slightly cooler at nights here in Miami. At nights. At night, I think I'm hungry. That's why I'm like stumbling on my words so much and my brain's just like not thinking correctly. And anyway, last but most definitely not least is the candle that I purchased called Blanky Blank Blank. Oh, it's called Fresh Christmas Tree. It's a crackling candle with a wooden wick from the brand Crackling Candle Home with Wooden Wick. <laughs> That's literally what it says. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Probably not. <laughs> well, kind of. But it smells like a Christmas tree. And apparently it has a uh, crackling wooden wick. <sighs> it smells so good. Speaking of Christmas tree, I have to turn on my Christmas tree. We named her Jean. And since we moved, we couldn't really get a huge Christmas tree for this house. Because the other house was a little bigger. So we could get like a huge tree, but we couldn't. But she's really pretty and we named her Jean. Well, actually no, I named her Jean. I don't know why. I just looked at her and I saw Jean. We name our Christmas trees every year. I think last year it was Charles. And the year before that was Alistair. And the year before that was George. Or maybe last year was George. And then it was Charles. And no, okay. Jean, George, Charles, Alistair, and then I don't remember the other ones. It's too far back. You're going too far back. So my memory's just like, nope, no more. So yeah, that's everything I got. That's everything I got. Um, you guys think I, 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 I like to shop? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But worth it. Very much so worth it. So anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to have my snack slash dinner slash whatever the hell you want to call it before I hang out with my friends in a couple hours. Oh my gosh, it's already 6.30. I have to leave here in an hour. So I have to like scarf down my food, take a shower, get ready, makeup, clothes. I mean, I'm already wearing the flannel shirt. Like I put it right here on my bed. But the next video for sure that I will film for you guys, which will probably be tomorrow, will be my November Loot Crate unboxing video because my October one got messed up because of my mom, all right? I'm sorry, so blame my mom, it's not my fault. I really was gonna film it, but then she started opening it and I was just like, mother, what are you doing? And she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I forgot, but I really wanted to see what you got and yeah, that's it. I felt guilty, like as soon as I saw her like starting to open it, I wasn't gonna be like, don't do that, what's wrong with you? You know, I just, I let her do it. I felt, I felt bad because you guys weren't going to get the uh, October unboxing, but at the same time, she got excited, so I just, I let her do it. <sighs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Um, as always, y'all, get your due on. You st I'm so used to it. <laughs> okay, get your due on. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And that's pretty much it. 20 minute video. I was hoping to get it under like 20 minutes, but you know, close enough. 
All right, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I promise you I will film it. I will not forget. I have gym in the morning, but then after that, I, I get home and I can't.